my friends, today we are doing uh, a tier list. I know tier lists are kind of uh, the popular thing right now. So I thought, uh, you know what? I'm going to do a tier list. We're going to do the Monster Energy Drink tier list today. I'm a huge fan of Monster, okay? I've, uh, I've had Monster since I was like... 12 years old? I, I don't know. At a young age, I, I I like to drink monsters quite a bit. I thought, what better way to start off my tier list adventures by doing a monster energy tier list? So I basically got one that has all of the flavors. I'm hoping I know most of them. It's going to be fun. We're going to rank it uh, best to worst and then ones that I've never had before. So should be a good time, man. Uh, monster energy tier list. I'm anxious to see how it stacks up to uh, to you guys. So let's get into it. So this is the Monster Energy tier list. Uh, we've got S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, uh, and then I haven't tried. It's not every single monster ever made in existence. There's a few that I know that aren't here. We'll stack it up though. First, we're gonna start with OG Monster, okay? A lot of people will say it's okay. It's not their favorite, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna throw this one in S tier. Now listen, I know some of you guys are gonna say, JJ, that's, that's an A tier. I, I, no. <laughs> no. It's S tier, boys. We're going S tier. I don't care about your opinion. My tier list, okay? Next, we're going to go with Assault. This is the red-looking monster. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know what this one tastes like. It just tastes really good. We're going to say... I'm going to say S tier again. I, I do love this monster. I get this one occasionally when I see it in the stores. <laughs> Hyena, don't spoil the ending. <laughs> Every flavor is S tier. <laughs> She looked, she saw right through it. All right, next is the low carb monster. Okay, so this one is basically the green monster, but it is uh, sugar free. But the thing is, is you can really tell it's sugar free in a, like a bad way. It still tastes good and I get it sometimes, but I'm gonna throw this in B tier, okay? And here's why. It tastes almost like a vitamin. Like you guys ever have Flintstones vitamins as a kid? Like those little chalky vitamins? That's what this one tastes like. I don't know, man. It's not good. It's not good. Just trust me. I've had it before. I've had it many times. Not good. This one is the zero. So it's similar to low carb, but it actually has like zero calories, like completely zero calories. This one's going C tier. I mean, they're trying to emulate this, the green flavor while still keeping all the sugar out. And it's just, you just can't do it. So C tier for sure. Okay. We're going to go into Java one. So this one's mean bean. I think mean bean is a solid or maybe it's green bean. I don't know what it is. I think this is mean bean. We're gonna, we're gonna call this one B tier. It's nothing special. It's okay. It's average at best. It's just kind of like a cold coffee. This one, I'm also gonna put at a B tier. This one's not that great. I, I believe that's the mocha one, but I don't know. You see, it's so forgettable that it's just like, it's just not worth my time. This one is, I believe the vanilla one. This one's definitely A tier. Definitely the best of the Java series, I will say. Definitely tasty. I will, I will say the Java's not the best monsters, but that one's pretty tasty. So we're going to go with that. This one's the caramel one, I think, which also is is equivalent to uh, the, the vanilla bean, in my opinion. I would say A tier. We'll give it an A tier. It's kind of like like an A minus, to be honest, but we're not going to get into the specifics here. OK, this is just this is just for fun. OK, now this one's a polarizing one. This one's called the monster mule. If you guys have ever had monster mule before, you'll know it's a ginger monster. So actually, if you guys have ever had a Moscow mule, they use ginger beer in it. And that's kind of what they're trying to go for. That's why it's called mule. I will say the first time I had it, I was extremely thrown off over time. It, it, it is really like it's really grown on me. I do like this one quite a bit, but sometimes it just doesn't hit right. So I'm going to live. I'm, I'm going to leave an A tier. It's close to an S tier. I'm gonna leave it A tier. This one, okay. If you guys have never had this pink dragon one, S tier. No doubt in my mind, bro. It, it, the first time I had it, I was just like, that slaps. That slaps. It's so tasty. It's like very little calories. It's it's very tea forward. Definitely, uh, definitely an S tier for me. This green tea one, C tier. Listen, I love green tea. I love green tea. But for some reason, I don't know what they put in, like like butt juice or something, but it is not good. And doubly so, this yellow one, dude. This yellow dragon, I, if there's a D tier, I, I would put a D tier, man. This this yellow dragon was the worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. Never want this again. This disgrace to the monster brand. Get out of here, stinky boy. I, I, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay, so 
We're going to move on to the Juice Series here. Juice Series, a very popular brand. I personally delve into the Juice Series once in a while. We've got Chaos. So this one's kind of like a fake orange juice. I, I want to say C tier. Like it's, it is passable it's for a B tier. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's just not good. It's just not good. I, I'd rather just not drink it. Okay. Then we've got Mango Loco. Okay. This one. Easy S tier. Easy S tier. If you guys have not had Mango Loco Monster, you should feel bad about yourselves. You should feel bad about yourselves. You're, you're, you're missing out. Truly. You know what? We're putting that to the front of the pack. Actually, no, that's disgraceful. I can't I can't leave my green from the front. Can confirm Mango Loco makes me loco. Uh, okay, this one is called Pipeline Punch, I believe. No. No, this one. Oh, Pacific Punch. This one's Pacific Punch. This one, uh, I would say it's B tier. It's not terrible, but it's kind of average. It, it reminds me of the red Rockstar, if you guys have ever had Rockstars before, the Fruit Punch Rockstar. I, I, I just think Fruit Punch only goes so far. Uh, it is. It's definitely like it could go A tier. Um, but I'm going to leave that for Pipeline Punch. I, I personally love Pipeline Punch. It's not quite S tier, but it's got like this pineapple-y taste to it. And you're just like, ah, ah, a kiss from an angel, just a little, but it's not quite S tier for me. Overall though, Mango Loco just <laughs> stomping the competition. Okay, these ones, I, I don't think I've ever had these ones. I think these are the rehab ones. I think I've had the peach one. Maybe, I think this one's black tea or something. I liked this one. I'll put that in B tier. And I think this is the peach one. I think I'll put that B tier as well. These two I've definitely not had. Okay, now we're on to the zero series. So this is going to be the last one I know because these guys, well, I'll just throw these in now. I've never tried these in my life. I don't personally consider these monsters because they're like in weird Gatorade bottles. It's just like, that's not necessary. So this one, I believe this is like, I had this once. I can't remember what it tasted like. I want to say it was like, I want to say it was like black cherry or something. It was, but it, I remember I saw it. I was like, this is going to be good. And it this, it was not that great. It was okay, but it, it was not that great. I'm going to throw that one in here. Blue Ultra. Okay, definitely A tier. Blue Ultra is a good go-to. So if you guys have had, I'm going to say White Ultra. White Ultra is S tier because I'm going to use White Ultra as an example. If you guys have ever had White Ultra, always good. Always slaps. Always a good time. It's so reliable. It's so tasty. The blue one if is, is a good second. It's a backup. It's a backup if you miss the white one because they're so similar in flavor, but the blue one has a slightly blue freezy type flavor to it. So it's kind of like a, if I'm going to get monsters, white's not there, boom. Blue's got my back, you know, but I never get blue instead of white. So red, I would say red's comparable to blue, except it, it, it it's like lacking flavor. I don't know what it is, but the red one, dude, it's just like you take a sip and it's like I don't taste anything for that reason we're gonna put a B tier it's not terrible but it's pretty good ultra paradise okay I'm not typically a green apple fan but this one's so like tropically and 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 it's not overdone I, I absolutely love it so we're gonna put a tier not quite S tier but a tier okay ultra orange uh I believe I tried this and I was like uh, uh, I was not a fan. Yeah, so that's a C tier. If you're trying to feed me a freaking orange without actual oranges in it, get the frick out of here, okay? Get the frick out of here. I don't want to hear it. This one is called Ultra Rosé. This one, same problem with the red one where I don't really taste much, but to a worse degree. So we're going to put that C tier too. I wouldn't say, I think we need an extra tier in here, to be honest. Okay, we're going to add a new tier here because I, I think it's necessary. These two need to be shamed. These, these two need to be publicly humiliated. If you ever are caught with these, I'm going to make fun of you and laugh at you and take pictures of you. So this one's Ultra Violet. <sighs> It's, it's okay. It's just kind of too much in my opinion. It's too much purple, too much grape. I, I just, not not quite my thing. I mean, maybe some people like it. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. This one's called Ultra Watermelon, I think. We don't have this in Canada. I've never seen this in Canada. I really want to try it though, because I feel like it would slap. Last but not least, Ultra Fiesta. Okay, little story. Couple of months ago, I went to the variety store, about to pick up some monsters. All of a sudden, I look in the corner of my eyes, and there I see Monster Fiesta. It was a long day at work. I come back in the car, I crack that bad boy open, like, take a sip. Oh, pure money, dude, pure money. It was so delicious. I, I, overall, not my favorite flavor, but just the moment I had it, it was at the perfect timing. Definitely an S tier. It is similar to Mango Loco, but it's, it's its own thing. You know, it reminds you of like a, a tropical, a tropical gum. Absolutely refreshing. Can't recommend it enough, but totally, 
suggest you try it out. But that's it, man. That's the Monster Energy tier list. Green will forever be my baby. Uh, red's also good, too. Mango Loco. We got the this the Purple T1. Ultra White's just a classic. And then uh, Ultra Fiesta. Yeah. I will say, there are two flavors that you guys do not see here. And that's because they're not really available anymore. But I will show you. Number one. Monster Cuba Lima. Okay. Whoo! This thing, absolutely delicious. I can't tell you how tasty this stuff is. And then the last one, okay. The last one, Monster Mixed, okay. When I was a kid, I used to bike down to my local 7-Eleven and pick up this one. It's purple. I don't know why, but it is absolutely... It, I, I just remember it being so freaking tasty. I don't remember it tasting like grape. It was like its own flavor, man. It was so... It was so good. I can't even begin to tell you. It was just so tasty, and I just wish I could I could have it back just for a moment, just to take me back to my childhood, man. Anyways, that's the Monster Energy tier list. I hope you guys uh, agreed with my rankings. If not, then uh, <laughs> suck it. Because I, you know what? The thing is, I, I have way more experience with monsters than you, so. <laughs> and my opinion matters more than you, so. <laughs> destroyed. Left wing destroyed. 